Carpinteria, California. For many years, Carpinteria was just a pretty stop on the train trip to Santa Barbara. But I knew there had to be more. Little did I know, it is home to a world famous surfing destination. A stop at the town museum highlights its significance in various industries and rare geological features. Enjoy a stroll through the Carpinteria Salt Marsh and take in the Carpinteria Bluffs. Carpinteria is a true California paradise. Carpinteria is roughly 85 miles from Los Angeles and it is about 12 miles from Santa Barbara. Throughout Ventura and Santa Barbara counties, the Pacific Coast Highway 1 merges with State Highway 101, making Carpinteria simultaneously just off State Highway 101 and the Pacific Coast Highway. In addition to driving, as I mentioned earlier, you can take the train. And without further ado, Rincon Point. Rincon Point has two separate beaches, separated by a gated residential community. First, I checked out Rincon Beach County Park. This beach is pretty good for families and general purposes. Look, no barbecues or bonfires. Look, no nudity. Wow. This area is a part of the Juan Batista de Anza National Historic Trail, which I mentioned in my Anza Borrego video. There is something about dogs fetching and returning frisbees that I just find comforting. Well, I thought I might be able to walk around the whole point, but nope, the water got in the way. I guess that's why it is a point. And these surfers walking along the rocks are perfect foreshadowing for the other side of the point. You got it, I walked around to check out Rincon Point State Beach to the east. I was surprised when I learned that the seemingly humble town of Carpinteria is home to Rincon, also known as the Queen of the Coast, a world famous surfing destination that one book called the 24th best surf spot in the entire world. It was a calm, beginner-friendly day. I got some footage of some rides, but it wasn't a great angle. Keep watching for some better footage. By the way, Rincon Point, California is not to be confused with Rincon in Puerto Rico. Rincon is actually Spanish for corner. This part of Rincon Point is known as the Cove, and rides can last 300 yards. It is considered the best part of the point. But hey, this footage from Surf, Rinse, Repeat shows Rincon at its best. In 1981, Rincon Point was listed as one of the 10 best waves in the world by Surfing Magazine. And it pulled at number 19 in the best 100 by Surfer Magazine. The main surf season is from late fall to early spring. The best waves are 4 to 8 feet. And of course, it is a right breaking wave. Incidentally, while Rincon is known for great white sharks, and Carpinteria has become a hotspot for juvenile white sharks, I did not find any record of any attacks on humans. Perfect time to take a break from the waves at the cozy Carpinteria Valley Museum of History. Admission is free. Carpinteria was incorporated in 1965. 
In 1887, the Southern Pacific Railroad reached Carpinteria. It was remarked that riding the train along the ocean was like an ocean voyage without the seasickness. This vintage sign shows a population of 6,651. Today, the population is roughly 13,000. Lemons arrived to Carpinteria in the late 1800s. At its peak, the town packed 1,500 train cars full of lemons for eastern markets. Asphalt mining also became big business in Carpinteria in the late 1800s. Carpinteria was the center of trade for the Chumash people. The soldiers of the Gaspar de Portola expedition of 1769 referred to the area as La Carpinteria, translating to the carpenter shop. They did this after seeing the Chumash Indians building their wooden plank canoes, hence the name of the city. Here is a Mexican California adobe rancho scene and scenes of life on the farm, including a farmhouse kitchen. Blacksmith implements, a one-room schoolhouse, and the Santa Barbara area is a major stop for monarch butterflies. Then there was this fascinating miniature of a house. Overall, it was good vibes at the Carpinteria Museum. Ah, uh, I feel a kinship with that sea lion. This is actually the public restroom building. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I sure appreciate public art. The Carpinteria Salt Marsh Nature Park, also known as the Carpinteria Salt Marsh Preserve. It was established in 1977. It is one of various estuaries along the coast of California, such as Morro Bay and Newport Back Bay. Santa Inez River Estuary, Santa Clara River Estuary, Ventura River Estuary, the Arroyo Burro Canyon Mouth Estuary, the Lagunal Devro Slough Estuary, and San Antonio Dunes Estuary. And along with the Golita Slough, the Carpentry Salt Marsh is a so called structured basin estuary. The Carpinteria Salt Marsh, as it exists today, is just a small portion of what once was. The Salt Marsh once extended four miles down the coast to Rincon Point. Urbanization has resulted in much loss of these coastal wetlands. In fact, across Southern California, as much as 90% of historic coastal wetland area has been lost. Acquisition and restoration of this remaining coastal habitat at this preserve is significant. This is our natural heritage. Cool, I think that's a monarch butterfly. Various birds, snakes, and other creatures can be found here. Even a red fox. These were nice homes by the marsh. And speaking of homes, celebrities known to have homes in Carpinteria include Ashton Kutcher, Kevin Costner, and Ellen DeGeneres. Carpinteria has a warm summer Mediterranean climate, with summer temperatures averaging in the low to mid 70s. Truly a cool place to be. Gotta love a bridge and check out the cyclist. Honestly, the Carpinteria Salt Marsh 
was not a very exciting place for me. But that does not stop me from appreciating how relaxing it is and its significance. And the highlight of the trip, the Carpinteria Bluffs Preserve. The goal is to preserve these bluffs forever. The bluffs were in fact going to be lost forever, but the citizens of Carpinteria banded together and saved them. This is a paradise of eucalyptus trees, coastal sage, and wildflowers. Personally, this reminded me of my long college walks around the lagoon at UC Santa Barbara. The Carpinteria Bluffs Preserve is 52 acres. It is very family friendly and wholesome. The Channel Islands and oil platforms are at times visible. Further down the coast is the Rincon Bluffs Preserve, 21 acres, which overlook Rincon Point. And they can be seen in the background here. The Carpinteria Pier was built in 1959 to receive oil and gas from offshore platforms. It is not open to the public. It is used for transferring personnel and equipment on and off crew boats. The Carpinteria Seal Sanctuary is also visible from these bluffs. Unfortunately, I visited at the wrong time of year. The time of year to visit is January through May. This is some footage from YouTube. Also, seals may be more numerous at sunrise, sunset, or on cloudy days. The Tar Pit State Park is also nearby. In fact, the Carpinteria Tar Pits are among a rare collection around the world. There are less than 10 that are considered notable. And the train runs along this beautiful coastline. I got some train footage for a future video. Then it was time to leave. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I made it, I knew almost nothing about Carpinteria. Now, I know all of this and more, and perhaps you know more too. Please enjoy these views and hit the thumbs up to support my efforts, and if you want to continue to share the magic.